Hey, what up, everybody? Good morning. Welcome to another episode of Full Dama. It's early morning at the shop, but it's because we have a really cool project that me and Coop have been putting off, and I was like, we're getting here early, and we're going to make it happen. It's going to be dope. Yeah. I'm not going to say anything else because we're just going to go to the booth and show you what's going down, um, and Coop will make it look really sick and stuff, but... Um, getting some battle stuff ready, battles next week, so I'm trying to get my setup figured out, taking my old beat-in one, putting the new fresh white can on the old Tama. Oh, it's going to be perf. Is this one of those ATACs? Yes, full ATAC. So what are you doing, what are you trying to do right now? Well, so the cups uh, are in a good spot, but with the paint, it's hard for them to push down a little bit with the ATAC, so I just sanded down a little bit of the of paint so that when I push them down, it's a little bit easier. Interesting. Yeah, I like low cups, so even when I designed them to be low, I just like it a little bit lower. So that's the that's the move. So I got a D-string Old Faithful here. The spike has just gotten way too dull, like way too dull of a spike. It, it's I'm missing tricks that I shouldn't be missing, and I need confidence going into the battle. So that's what we're doing, setting up a new setup with a nice fresh spike, ATAC paint. And if you didn't know. Battle at the Border happens in Nashville every year, ran by Soul Kendamas, one of the biggest Kendama events in the whole year. NACO's yeah. one of the big ones. Battle at the Border, KWC, Kendama World Cup. Um, yeah, so Battle at the Border's always the first event of the year, so it's super hype. You get to see all the Kendama homies, so we're excited. It's uh, yeah. next week. By yeah, the time dude. this comes out, it'll probably already have happened, but <laughs> we're excited. Yeah, congrats to uh, whoever won. You did a great job. It was amazing watching you on the live stream. <laughs> right here. See how I just took a little bit of paint down? This is the ridge where it stops. So now I'll be able to push it down further because the paint won't be there creating that friction. Interesting. Yeah, it's a, it's a thing about the ATAC, you know? Like, so now when I put her together, I should be able to push her down into position a little bit further. Oh, and now it should just be perfect for a triple inward loon. Ah, oh, you wish you got that first try. You got I it do wish that actually. Okay. Oh. oh. Your sanding helps. It helps, dude. All right, let's go check out what's happening in the booth. And I can get it. Guarantee it. So we are in the Sweets Paint Lab and we have a very special project today. Perplexia Rowan Designs. We sent him a natty or a natty wrecking ball and Shinya is about to cushion clear it. Now if you don't know Perplexia, he electrifies wood burns kendama. So he sends electrical current through the tama and he fills it with uh, black light resin and it becomes amazing. So we're going to show you the beginning of the process, the kush. Shinya is our in-house painter. He has been for a really long time too. He's the best to do it. Needs a new Tama for his can. Uh, we gotta we gotta get it honed in. The other one wasn't just honing in, so sometimes you gotta switch things up. All right, so this was my Tama, the Sweets Legend Tama. Sorry, our mics died, so the audio's a little, you know. So we got these special. What are they? They're like uh, snake skin snake fade. Skin fade orange fiery customs. <laughs> we got the green and the blue, but I, I really like this orange yellow one. So I'm gonna choose this one, but it's not perfect enough quite yet for how I like it. So we're gonna we're gonna customize it a little bit and see what we can do. All right, first what we're gonna do is we're gonna weigh it out and see how it matches with our can because that's pretty important. A lot of people don't really care, but I kind of care. So it's important to you. 
important to me. My can is 84 grams. Okay, solid. Tama is 74. Ooh, that's a 10 gram difference. We're gonna see if we can close the gap a little bit. All right. Now, what's what's something that's gonna make you go, that'll do? Uh, like a five gram difference is fine. Yeah, that's optimal. Look at this. Yo, chat, is he gonna guess right by weighing it with his hands like this? Yes or no, what do you think? Does he got the skills? Comment right now before you see the next part. So we're looking for a heavier Tama. He went from 75. Almost 74. 74. It could be totally wrong. This could be way lighter. This one's 75, actually. Okay. And then this one I grabbed is 85. Whoa! Did you guess he do it exactly right? Let's go. So my can is 84. My Tama's 85. That's I mean, perfect. now does it, does it matter to you which is heavier? I like the Tama to be a little heavier because if the can is heavier, then it just kind of feels weird. Dang. Tama's so, heavier, like, yeah, just like a gram heavier, that's perfect. So you have an optimal setup essentially right now for you? I think so. Now. now. So these Tamas are all complete. They're cushion cleared. They're ready to sell. But we're going to customize it a little bit with our machinery here and make it a little easier to play. All right, here we go. If you've never seen this part of the sweet shop, this is the production facility. This is the drilling room. This is where we sand Thomas down before they get their next layer of Kush. And this is where we drill out bevels when we do custom paint. Sam, shipper extraordinaire, but also uh, the production extraordinaire on here, dude. Uh, we're about to maximize the bevelage here. We're about to extract <laughs> more diameter out of that little circle guy. So the bevel, <laughs> we're gonna make it a little wider with this uh, machine here. Yeah, make it a little easier there. to spike. Handy dandy little nubbin on the bottom there. Yeah. When these Tamas were made for the Amped, and with the Sweets Legend, it's got a bigger spike. So if we want to use old Tamas on new shapes, we gotta do a little bit of customizing. Yeah. yeah. That little notch on that on that center post lines up with your top hole. And once you see it spinning in center, you're good to go. Since this one's already been drilled, it's a little funky, but as long as you maximize it, get it fully out to its extent, close it off, give it a little spin to see if it's flush in there. If your top rotates it all, then when you're in trouble, this one's staying put, we're good to go. I'm trying to bring it out just a scotch one. Nothing crazy, just a skosh. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What are we talking here? We're talking talking 22.5. Now we are sitting at somewhere between 23 and 24. Probably 23.7, 23.8. Perfect. 24 is the new standard for sweets, so that's exactly what we want. Thanks, Sam. <laughs> Last step is to give it a little razor blade kiss. Get rid of any extras. Oopsie daisy. Yeah, when we, we usually uh, drill damas before we cush them, but like I said, in this instance, we're doing a little bit of extra special like customization to get ta this tama working for Coop. But there's no better dude at the shop to do it than Sam. Thanks, Sam. My pleasure, my pleasure. I'm stoked. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's see that baby. Oh, look at how much bigger that is. That is gonna just Correction. rip. Dang, I'm like jealous, dude. <laughs> Look at that. Oh, white cans just make everything pop. Poking out the top to get the string through easier. Poking out the top. Just drill. There's some debris in there, some debris. <laughs> Bring my string through. You gotta shorten it too, remember? Just a little bit. Just a tad. So will you just tie the knot lower? Yeah, I'll just tie the knot a little lower. So you'll still keep that string length just can't in case. Can't forget my bearing bead, you know. Classic. Classic. How long have those been in style? When did those come out? Like 2017, 18? I was just going to say eight years probably. So it's like 2016 even. Yeah, before that we just had normal plastic beads. Yeah. Could you guys imagine? Who knows? No, they can't. They can't imagine playing with a Dama that doesn't just stick to the big cup. <laughs> Sound like that's some old heads. No, we are. Like I've been, I've been yelling from the top of the mountain lately that if you've never played a JKA Dama and you play Kendama and you think it's epic, then you need to 
stop right now and go buy it because you don't know Kendama if you've never played an Ozura, I would say. Same! That was mine! I'm grinder setup. Scissors? Probably by Sam's desk. About an inch. Oh, he's gonna cut a little. About an inch. Ooh, that's a fresh looking setup. You think we're gonna lay some bangs on that today? Alright, is it gonna pass the test? It's a little long, but. I like that. Oh, all right, cool. New gen. This is a good way to good way to check your string length. Yeah. What do you think in the chat? Is that a good way or not a good way? <laughs> is Coop old and his string's too short, or is that what you think is good? Right now, it's on the ground by about a half inch. Yep. Let's see. All right. Oh! All right, real first trick on the dom. All right, here we go. Oh. Hey, that tray flip. Oh! Oh, today's oh. gonna be a good day, let's go! Let's We're on our way to Mall of America because the Museum of Illusions. So, uh, next thing you'll see is Mall of America. Goodbye. All right, we made it to the Mall of America. Woo. Here in the parking lot. Hey. Woo. We know and love this place, we did it. Uh, our MKO. MKO here. Why can't I think Three of that name? Three years in a row, so. We know this place like the back of our hand, baby. Yes, sir. Roman check. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. I got to do the coop. Hey. Ooh, let's go. Money. Roman check. Ha. Ain't nothing. Dude, I got on this escalator, me and him are just standing shoulder to shoulder. I looked behind to see if there were like Japanese homies barreling down the left side. Why? Because like in Japan, you can't like block the aisle. There's always someone like uh, rushing past you. So I like pulled out in Japan move and was like making sure there was no one coming, but. We were standing side by side. Yeah. But it's, even though I haven't been in Japan for months and months and months, it's still like on the escalator, you get that feeling. But in America, no one cares. All right, so we're on our way to the Museum of Illusions. They actually invited us. They hit up the Sweet Skin Dama's Instagram, so we're about to go check it out, see what it's about. Yeah. Maybe film some Dama in there. It should be kind of fun. Either way, we'll just see what it's all about. It looks trippy, so I'm excited to get weird with it and see what's good. Hell yeah. Kanama players are always looking for cool backgrounds to do their tricks on, so <laughs> this could be perfect. Yeah, let's have some fun. Museum. Here we are. I'm excited, dude, let's go. Prince vibes or something, dude. Hi. Hi. Good. How are you? Doing good. Um, we're a little late for our 12 o'clock tickets that we bought. That's all right. Let's see. Uh, can I get a name? Uh, Matt Jorgensen and see Cooper you. Eddie. Oh, yep. I see you guys. All right. <laughs> yeah. Awesome. Oh, what up? Welcome to Flight Black Moon. We about to take you on a tilted journey. room. I feel like I'm stall. Yeah. Everything's falling. Fine. Everything is looking smooth. I'm your Captain Buckshot. It's so weird I'm pushing against the train, dude. <laughs> we have SWLE on deck. <laughs> we have about 31,000 feet into the air. Uh, we'll be cruising at a smooth altitude, so just buckle up. Enjoy your flight. <laughs> I want to try to see to the week what we do, buckle down with the life, each and every individual in sight, let my man Jewel peep your style, put your card, then I can converse and take a look at the card. The gray area around the dot will begin to shrink and disappear. You know what they say about brothers who screw face upstate, you know Holy crap, it actually is. Wow! <laughs> gotcha! Kid is hot, word them all do. Get the loop from the man at night from a timberland. Walk with the shot that I bang with. Hang with gang hanger with the double edged banger. Who can't please breaking your laws? If you fake, we go boss a cat. Matter of fact, break your jaws. I'ma bring it to your chest like wind. Then fill your lungs up with all the ball you have within. But I'ma put it back to parlay. Took the week in Bucktown. All we do every day is. Walk them down, walk them down, walk them down. Walk em down. When I kick it, 
All those lyrics is wicked It's all about the L's and how I lick it Or how I shot somebody in the mug With the slug even white chalk All over fish black duck You look and tell me you're the word the mother When I was 15 running around I was a real street lover Holy trippy, bro. Oh my gosh. I got motion sick mad fast. Oh. Holy cow, dude. I mean, X amount of thoughts, but they call me Buckshot. Cause I take no shorts. Roll to the shell around my chest. Big up to all of my sin, rule boy, pond deck. So if you see your weak brother, speak to that bastard. I'ma hit them up with the plastic. I was the Mac, fuck was strapped with the ill liver, cool contact, knapsack, filled with the gear that I cheat in a nickel bagger. Yes, indeed. A mad little brother running up on the wall. Fly as hell, hit the park, play the ball. And all the old. Alright, I think we fully exhausted this one. <laughs> I think this is the best one yet though, for sure. This is awesome. We're not even all the way through yet. Let's go, dude. You feel like you look on for infinity, dude. Because you can. Oh, it's insane. Go oh, look at fun. it from the top. Like, go go look at it from up here. <laughs> oh, it's just a tunnel, dude. Dude, you just go down and down forever. Holy. I may have nightmares about this. Imagine falling into one of these in your, in your dreams and then you just never end. It's Wiggle your finger very quickly back and forth near the exhibit and notice how one finger seems to become many fingers. Shine your smartphone's flashlight onto the sculpture to see that it is actually spinning. Okay. I think you gotta go farther or closer. I just have to hit the spike. That's all it is. I'm not like. <laughs> Shut up. You're changing everything. Each I'm consistently try. making you mad with every try. That's what I'm doing. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was fun. This looks delicious. What are we gonna eat for lunch? Nom nom nom. Messing up, messing up. That's a fun girl. Messing up, messing up. How to smile, girl? Messing up, messing up. So much fun, dude. What a good time. Just goofing around with some crazy. Oh, we're at the end, man. This is the end. We made it made through. It the end of the illusions. I survived the museum of illusions <laughs> at the MOA. Whoa, look at Infinity Room. What? What the hell? One more thing. What to do? Observe the illusion of infinite space and try taking a cool photo. Oh, let's So much fun, Coop. Yeah, that was awesome. Yo, shout out. Uh, the mall over. We, we gotta, I gotta get the 
the name right. The Museum of Illusions. I keep wanting to call it the Mall of America Illusions. Shout out the Museum of Illusions. That was awesome. Shout out Museum of Illusions. Some great kendama trick backgrounds. Thank you guys. Thanks. Dude. And here we are, right Where's... back into the Mall of America. Oh yeah, let's get a let's get a just a look at their logo. Shout out Museum of Illusions. Ooh, ooh, let's go. Shout out Museum of Illusions. That was awesome. We had so much fun, dude. Highly recommend going and checking out. Some good backdrops for filming. It, dude. Was, it was beautiful. It was super trippy. Yeah, and it was only 20 bucks to go and do it. So if you are in Minnesota, it's definitely worth it if you film Dama to go and get some fun clips for the day without a doubt. Yeah, that's awesome. Shout out. Thank you guys for having us. It was dope. Yo, Slice Pizza, it's a pizzeria we be supporting. It's over in our neighborhood and they got one in the mall now. And pickle pizza is my favorite, so if they have some here, I'm slicing. Wow, some you're a rare pizza. man, dude. Pickle pizza. Dude, have you ever had it? I have not, I'll have to try it. Oh, it's got ranch, it's cheesy, it's so good. Pizza acquired. You got this pickle pizza. Oh, dude, my mouth is watering, bro. I cannot wait. I haven't had it since the state fair, so it's been a minute. Floppy slices at the Mall of America. Mm, dude. All right. Ranchy, pickly, so good, bro. So we're here. In the first episode of Full Down, we asked you guys to ask us some questions. So now is the time to answer some of those questions. Let's see what we got here. So good. So pickly. Mm. It's better than pineapple on pizza though, right, J-Bugs? Yo, shout out. All y'all who've been watching, and you've been hitting me up on Insta and all kinds of places telling us that you've been digging the new series, so we appreciate it a lot. All right, we're gonna choose from the YouTube comments on episode one and answer some of you guys' questions. First of all, sweet, this one's for you. Jesh7174 asks, what is the creative process that goes into a new shape? Oh man. That's a good question. Yeah, the creative process, like, for my, for the last one I did in particular, there have been so many shapes made since I last designed a kendama that, like, I got inspired by tons of people in the community, like you guys who are now company owners who design their own stuff, and so the inspiration started by seeing a bunch of other people designing kendamas that I thought were sick, and so I take inspiration from a lot of that, but also just the, the, the play style that I want to go into the Dama, but we really start from like a base. Like I want it to be big, fat, and chunky, and then I make that prototype, and then from there we slim it down to be more of what we want. You sculpt it through the prototypes to get to what you want, so it's intense. And you can make 20 prototypes and still never be happy, so we've learned that you kind of got to only go through a couple prototypes and, and real life test them more, because it's only millimeters we're talking about, so it's like, yeah. It's a big difference, but not at the same time. It's more in our heads, but it's fun. It's difficult. You just typed out that whole message <laughs> in a message on Discord. His microphone was on, and he just typed out that whole little answer. Should I send it to Cody? Yeah. <laughs> uh, when's the next Cooper mod uh, from Hype Man Cam? It's a good question. I'm currently working on the next Cooper mod, and it will be out shortly. The production line is very long. It takes a while for Kinamas to be produced, but it is designed, basically, and ready to be produced. I'm excited for you guys to see it. Dang, see, tuning into the full Dama gets you the behind the scenes scoops onto things, man. Dang, boom, Sweet's Life is back. Where's Max? True, we miss you, Max. <laughs> you guys didn't know the Sweet's Life was the vlog that we did uh, back in like 20... When you moved here, dude. Basically 20, like 15 to... 2020 20, basically almost. Oh well, yeah. Like, so yeah, that was uh, the vlog that we used to do and Max Norcross and I used to start it. Star in it, I should say. Yeah. Max and, is in Tacoma selling cars. Yep, he still grinds the Dama, but yeah, he's selling cars and uh, yeah. I miss that fool. Everyone, shout out Max Norcross. Go look him up. Oh gosh. Put a clip here of him right yeah. now. Just show, show a classic a Norris days. print. Don't try this at home though. Next question, any advice for p any people that want to start their own Kendama company, says Jerome Morales, 5068. I think 
what I say is maybe try to find a different lane. There's lots of people making kendamas. <laughs> There's so many people making kendamas that it's really hard to stand out with how many companies are currently existent. So it is hard. You have to you have to have a lot of other things going for you, like a uh, um, hype from previous things. Like for example, like three six five did it was a good, good example. Like they had Nick Stodd, Chris June, who were already really established pros, mm -hmm. and then they got Shredwood right away. So like. They had that pull for people to come to their brand, and if you don't have anything like that, then starting a brand from scratch is really daunting. Dude, it's a lot of work, man, and a lot of money. I mean, honestly, even just getting the few first few prototypes and a couple hundred dollars is thousands of dollars and lots yeah. of time and effort. So, um, I'm not saying don't. I'm just saying if if you're if you want to design shapes, if you want to sell kendamas, Sweets can help you do those things. They're they're custom wood trimmers who custom turn damas for people all the time. If you want to make your own shape, so. If that's what you want to do, then... That's like putting... Oh, my, sorry, I interrupted him. His mic was wrong. Sorry, my mic was not the right way. I gotta just... I can't be wearing these, these loose Vs. I'm showing you guys all my chest hairs. You can know. zip up your hoodie more. Oh, it's all good. I don't... Whatever. I don't care. Sorry, I interrupted you. No, it's okay. Um, but, it, like, just decide why do you want your own company. If it's to make lots of money... That's not a good reason. So think very long and hard about why you want it and if that is what you need to do in order to achieve your goals. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Very true. Maybe do this one. Yeah. Mm. Um, Luke Eigner, 4272. What's the camera setup? Looks fire. Ooh, good question. I love talking about the camera <laughs> Of course, dude. So right now we are filming on the Sony A7S3, 4K, 120 frames a second, so you can slow down anything you want. 4K, real nice. The lens, this is a fisheye. Uh, I have the Rokinon 8mm on right now, and a lot of times I use a uh, Sony G Master 16-35. F2.8, that's like my main lens, but it's broken right now and in the shop. Dang. And then, yeah, but for the full dongle, we've been rocking this broken on eight millimeter fisheye and it's been killing it. Yeah. And then we also have these DJI Rode mics. I mean, D DJI mics, Rode is a different one. But, yeah, yeah. And they're really helpful with picking up audio and yeah, yeah, that's I basically like. the setup. Yeah, the lens is nice because I can pick up the camera and use it without Coop having to assist me too much. I like that because I don't got to worry about it. Point and shoot and yeah. it's good. The lens is manual focus, so that's the other little tricky part is you have to make sure the focus is right. But other than that, it's good. Mm -hmm. Let's see, a couple more questions. And I need to get three more slices of pizza. <laughs> no, I just kidding. What a good day though, man. Holy cow, we started at the shop painting some insane damas. Doing some custom dama making. All right. Hazel Aganod asks, Hello, sweets. Here are some questions for the Q&A. Okay. What do you think makes a good edit? Good scenery, good tricks, yep. good music, good vibes. That's all you need right there. <laughs> List, write that down. <laughs> How do you make your clear coats? The clear coat we get is special from a factory that makes it for us monthly. So I'm not telling you where it comes from or who it is, but we have special clear made for us each month. And, and if you're new, the clear is the paint, the clear paint we put on top of our kanamas to make them really grippy. Yeah, and we're really known for nice. cushion clear. It's something we've been doing for 10 years almost now. It's a special coat that makes the tama stick to the ken really well. So if you've never tried it, snag. Yeah. Lastly, Oh no, that's that's too long. Yeah. He asked us to make a top ten list. We're not gonna do that right oh, now. Oh word, yeah. Great questions though. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I like them so far. Thanks Matt, a lot. You mentioned you've been disc golfing for a while now. How many courses have you played in in Minnesota alone, and how many aces altogether? That's a question from Barbarian Stronghold Disc Golf. Hey, let's go. What up, Barbarian, fellow disker, man? I've been playing uh, for 16 years. What? Yeah, I started my freshman... older than me. <laughs> <laughs> my freshman year of college I started, so it was 2006. So, whoa. That's 18 years. <laughs> okay, I've been playing for 18 years, but really, the last five I've taken it seriously. 
Um, I've got two aces. They both came last year, and um, I've played probably 50 of the Minnesota courses that we have. I played 20 new ones, I think, last year alone. Wow, we have um, that many? Yeah, there's 150 within 20 miles of us or something. It's an insane number. Minnesota has one of the most, but that's counting every nine hole at every middle school or every like random one in the state, so. But this last year was my best year of disc golf ever. I competed in more tournaments and putting leagues than ever before. I cashed in almost all of them. And I'm currently rolling that into this year, cashing in my last two putting leagues. And um, I want to play more tournaments this year. So I have some new discs to figure out because I'm going to get some MVP ones. And shout out Eagle. Congrats on the new sponsorship. Let's so go. sick. I threw MVP before I started throwing Pro Prodigy because of Gavin. And then I started throwing Dismania because that's what they all were. And so now I'm going to throw some more MVP. I'm not sponsored, so I get to throw whatever I want. So You're a fanboy, you could say. I, I, dude, I'm a fanboy. It's cool. I'm not a fanboy of any other thing, but like the Eagles got a new disc, and I'm on the pre-order wait list. Like, I can't wait for it. It's, mm -hmm. But he's our friend, you know? I feel like he's the homie, so yeah. I want to support, as always. Let's see if we got any more here. Maybe one more. Oh, how many aces do you have? Yeah, I said I got two. And one was with the Eagle disc, and I lost it. Oh. I don't know where I put it. It's gone forever. Crucial. First ace, though, in 16 years, 18 years. In 18 years, Crucial. that can't be real. Uh, last question. Will there ever be a homegrown again? Maybe. I I'm going to say maybe. I've been saying maybe for years. There's n I'm never going to say no, because homegrown can exist in a different form, but... It will never be made in Minnesota in the Homegrown Factory OG. That will never happen, I can guarantee you that. So we will never have a Homegrown from the original Homegrown Factory, but the brand may live on in another small manufacturer made Dama that may not come from even America, but if we do like small runs of things with like, let's say Sulab or Jack Kendama or Quad or somebody, you know, I feel like that's Homegrown still a little bit. And it'll never be truly Homegrown ever again, sadly. That was a very special, a specific special time in Kendama, dude. Everyone was playing natty Kendama setups with walnut stripe tracking. Like, that's all we played. It right? was just, yeah, man. I miss those days sometimes. Yeah. The simpler days. It was simpler, man. So many less choices to make. But that being said, y'all are spoiled, and you should be able to land any trick you set your mind to because the Dama isn't the thing holding you back anymore. Yeah. That's for sure. <laughs> so go lace. <laughs> go, go get him. <laughs> nah, dude, I had a fun day, Coop. It was chill. That was awesome. We got our slices down. We checked out the Museum of Illusions. Yeah, There's shout out Museum of Illusions. It was awesome. Until next time. Who knows what we... Oh, next week we go to Nashville. Yep. We're going to battle at the border next week. Let's dude. go, baby. So one of these full damas is going to be a weekend in Nashville. So stay tuned in. Hit that subscribe button if you haven't. And Maybe if we can get some, maybe if we can get one of these videos up above 5,000 views in a week or so, we'll give something away just specifically for you guys. So I love that. Thanks a lot for tuning in as always. Till next time. Peace.